In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test any charger from any laptop. So the problem that you're going to see most videos on, on YouTube, they are going to tell you, oh yes, grab one of these and you're going to be able to check, you know, maybe an Apple or a Dell or HP. So the, the truth is that with this, you're not going to be able to test every laptop. You're going to be able to test some laptops, but most of the laptops, you're not going to be able to use uh, this. So I'm going to show you what you're going to need in order to test every laptop so that way you don't rely on the simple uh, design with laptop so i'm going to show you something uh, on the screen so that way you can see so basically for instance uh, laptops uh, it could be dell it could be you know the apple product it could be anything so basically when you see all these pins it's not like you're going to grab you know the um, the multimeter and then you're going to put it like that and then you're going to uh, have a reading the the reality is you're not going to have any real uh, any reading usually for instance in the middle you're going to have a, a pin that's going to sense if the, the the motherboard is working right or not if the motherboard is not working uh, properly you're not going to have voltage here so you're not going to be able to measure it so if you plug this in you put the um, the bronze uh, here you're not going to get any reading so in order to uh, to that and i'm going to show you now in a little bit how you can do this the same thing with the dell so some uh, dell uh, laptops you're going to have the same issue most of the time they're going to tell you oh yes uh, grab the prong here put uh, the other one in the middle um and that's it but most of the time you're not going to get any reading or maybe you're going to get a bolt of reading uh, and that's it so the reality if you want to measure this i'm going to show you anyway uh, later so you can put it here on voltage it have to be dc or ac so in this case uh, in this multimeter it can read uh, ac and dc voltage in one uh, selection here otherwise sometimes in another multimeter you're going to have dc and then for another one you're going to have uh, this uh, ac so basically you can in this is simpler it, design I like it so you can have a uh, measure everything uh, at once in one place so you do that and, and once you do that and then you're going to put the the, the prongs in the middle and, and that's it so make sure that you don't short circuit it and you're not going to have any issues so you do that then you're going to see okay so here in the back you will see that says for instance uh, 18 volts 19 or 19 and a half or whatever the manufacturers uh, says you know here for instance we have 19 and a half so that is a and in the middle is a positive in in the back uh, i mean uh, outside is a negative as you can see here so i'm going to show you this because it's very important it, it depending on the type of you know a, a charger that you're going to use is that is what you have to, to know so basically here is negative in the middle is positive and you measure it like that and make sure that you don't you know uh, do a short circuit inside or anything like, like that you make sure that you just put it just in the middle touching this and not touching the walls on, on the side so that that will be an, a one option so here for instance uh, if you have something like this this is the easiest uh, to, to test so if you have a, an apple product because this is a usb-c just plug in this you know uh, the cable and the other end you can charge you can connect your phone and that's it easy uh, so that way you can know if your charger is working or not in this case i'm going to, uh, if you have something like this you know with this type of cable or you have the the other type because you have with macbooks you have the one is the old and the other is the new one so as you can see uh, you have different type of uh, connectors so i'm going to show you how you can test this very uh, quickly so now let's change the screen so now i'll show you in order to trick the the charger it was going to be more complicated so it's better if you buy just a laptop for instance if you get this, something like very old 2006 even if you don't use it it doesn't matter because this computer is kind of obsolete you know for 40 dollars you can get this and you can use it just to test the the charger so that will be one way uh, the other way if you have a you know a newer uh, laptop you can buy you know another laptop maybe 2015 yeah, you see that is what i put here and try to get you know something that is going to cost you very little and you can use it just uh, for that so that way for 200 
150, you can get that, and that's it, very simple. For Windows computers, so you can get a, a charger, you know, a, something like this, as you can see here. This one, I like it because I just bought it, I'm waiting uh, for it to arrive. So as you can see, you have the potentiometer here, and then uh, here, the same thing, you can see the the, vol the voltage, you know, the, pos the poles, um, the polarity, sorry, the polarity. So you see this, you know, the positive in the middle, and uh, the negative in the on the side so here you can change it from uh, 3 volts to 36 volts 4 amps uh, 144 uh, watts that is great and you can uh, select it from here also you have this uh, uh, this is not an extension this is just to change the polarity for instance you know in the middle negative and outside a uh, positive so don't confuse it if you are going to buy something like that or otherwise you may fry your computer so uh, the good thing about this yeah, uh, you have all the the holes. Okay, he's showing you, you know, the same thing I was uh, talking uh, uh, before. And I'll show you the the pins. Here we have all the the pins. So as you can see, we have almost all the pins. You know, for most uh, laptops, and uh, that's it. Very very simple. So the way, if you want to test the laptop, you can buy something like that. And this is very very economical. So as you can see. $26, you can have that, and then you can uh, connect uh, everything. So I'm going to show you here, uh, as you can see, so I have uh, one, of, one of those. Uh, this is from another kit that I have, and as you can see, you know, you're going to have different uh, type of connectors, and you can see this, uh, you can use it, uh, at least uh, with this, you can use it for, uh, you know, even with a regular power supply. You can get the regular connector that goes here, and, and that's it. So that way you have all the plugs, and uh, very, very simple. So I'm going to show you something. All right, as you can see, I have this. This is a simpler uh, one. I know it's for, you know, 12 uh, volts, only 3 amps. And if you see, you unplug this, plug it back in here like that, and then you, you can have, you know, almost any connector. This is not going to work for everything, but if you have a, a, power, su a power supply, that you can change the the voltage you know you can do that uh, as well otherwise you can buy the one i just show you on this on the screen i'm going to show you uh, something else so that way you see that uh, amazon here lab power supply and you can get one of these these are like very economical you see less than 50 dollars you can get this and you can connect it and then you can change the voltage amperage and and everything and with this i like it it's better than the other one costs a little bit more but you here you can see if it's drawing a lot of amps it means that something is is going on with the with the computer in the in, in the in the other case we know with this you're not going to know anything so here i'm going to show you another a toy so i i it's, this is very nice looks like very nice so as you can see for four hundred dollars uh, you can get uh, this is a multimeter for batteries so that way you can test the, the battery with this looks very very nice uh, here you have all the the adapters so it's something new and if you want to see you know if um, the rate of depletion of the battery and, and everything you can see with that. So now I'm going to show you uh, the other way to test the batteries, uh, the chargers, when you have a regular uh, charger that you can test with a multimeter. Okay, so if you want to check the the charger, for instance, in uh, this uh, laptop, this is a, a very particular uh, of the laptop. As you can see here, uh, this laptop is like, uh, a knockoff looks like I never seen it, it there is no brand uh, yes there is a model but uh, that's it so as you can see it looks like a MacBook Pro and if you want to check uh, the um, the charger if it's working or not just with this uh, multimeter is more than enough I mean you can put the bronze you know in in one end and in the other and you can check if you have a voltage uh, great if you don't have it or you don't have enough uh, that is how you can check it so i had a problem with this uh, laptop this laptop uh, the problem uh, with the charger the uh, i was not having enough uh, voltage and that was the the problem with this so uh, this is the the original charger and I'll, I'll show you so that way you can see the the problem that i, I was having no every laptop is going to be uh, like that but you put it here and you put this here like that 
and as you can see we have uh, seven so we should have uh, 12 but uh, so that is why I, I, I took one of these regular uh, chargers I, I bought uh, one of these adapters and plug it in and that's it so that is the easiest way to test if the charger works or not and I'm going to show you so that way you can see with the other one so that way you can see that the other one we have 12 volts so put it like this put it like that and there we go we have 12 volts here as usual if you need anything just let me know in the section below if you need tools electronics i, I can ship it to you otherwise i'll leave you in, in the video description all the, the tools i've been using here um, so that way you can buy it yourself thank you and we'll see you next time i want to explain you so for instance here i have a diagram it's a schematic of a random macbook pro so as you can see here on the side you have the polarity the one that is going to charge the laptop and here in the middle you have the magsafe feedback so basically that is sensing if something is going on with the motherboard or something is not working you're not going to have voltage in the charger so basically that is how it works so that is why you cannot test it just without uh, sending the signal in the middle in this case and the, the same thing with the other laptops so the, the the chargers that they have you know some type of sensor in the in the system so that way the laptop needs to ch uh, talk with the charger and if they cannot communicate uh, each other the voltage will not be seen by the multimeter so that is why you cannot uh, test it you know that way with every laptop if you have the system uh, built in in the, in the laptop and in the charger you're not going to be able to test it just the regular laptops or very old laptops with very primitive uh, technology that you don't have these